The end of the Cold War has had a powerful impact on security relationships around the world. These changing relationships have led to fundamental changes in the U.S. security strategy as well as in the supporting U.S. national military strategy. The challenge for Army leaders now is to apply the new military strategy and ensure they can always deliver the proper mix of forces and materiel to the area in which they are needed by the time in which they are needed. The relevance of the Army is directly proportional to its ability to strategically project and close its forces in support of U.S. national interests in peace and war. America's Army has become a power projection force, highly mobile and smaller than the force that won the Cold War and Desert Storm, based primarily in the United States, but with a limited forward presence in Europe and Korea. The Army of the 21st century must be able to execute missions that span the entire spectrum of military operations, from humanitarian support to major theater wars that can be accomplished rapidly and with minimal casualties. To accomplish these missions, the Army is beginning to undergo a fundamental transformation in the way it conducts military operations, a revolution in military affairs. However, as the Chief of Staff of the Army has stated, you cannot have a revolution in military affairs until you have a revolution in military logistics. The Army is hard at work making the logistics revolution a reality. This will ensure that as modern warfare increases in complexity, logisticians will continue to decisively support the warfighter. TRADOC and CASCOM have already embarked on a bold journey to reshape and build the Army for the year 2010, known as Force 21. This view of the future focuses on operational imperatives and enabling technology. These will provide for prompt and sustained operations on land throughout the entire spectrum of operations. While we're looking 10 to 15 years ahead with Force 21, we're also challenged with developing logistical concepts for the Army after next, that is, 2015 and beyond. We're attempting to do this by visualizing and boldly harnessing technology with new systems and processes to produce revolutionary ways to project and sustain America's Army. The revolution in military logistics has already begun. America's Army is rapidly becoming a power projection army that is building the capability to project its heavy battle force and all associated support anywhere in the world within 75 days. Lighter forces are being tailored to deploy even faster. 15 key facilities are being upgraded in the United States as power projection platforms. C-17 aircraft are being purchased to replace the C-141 fleet and will serve both as a critical component for its strategic lift and for transporting initial entry force soldiers and equipment to crises in austere areas. Sea lift, which in the past has been the primary means for deploying nearly 90% of Army forces and supplies, is being increased 127% over Desert Storm sea lift capabilities. Pre-positioned stocks are being reshaped and strategically located throughout the world on land and afloat to better enable our force projection army to rapidly deploy. The logistics implications for the next 15 years are clearly profound. The traditional means of supporting the force through logistics mass, that is stockpiles, is no longer viable. It is prohibitively expensive in peacetime and insufficiently responsive to support the dynamics of a changing military. Based on this vision, we're moving into a distribution-based logistics system. This will allow us to exploit improvements in logistics velocity and transportation. We now must have the capability to strategically deploy, to operationally throughput soldiers and supplies, what is known as RSO&I, reception, staging, onward movement and integration, and also tactically fight. All of this must be done simultaneously. Logisticians will still arm, fuel, fix, move, man, and sustain the force. How logistics is being provided will change radically. Most importantly, this process will maintain a battle focus. Advances in information and logistics technologies are making these advancements possible. We must accomplish this transformation in order to develop an agile, mobile, and flexible logistics structure to support Force 21 combat commanders. This distribution-based concept at the operational and tactical levels 
is focused on maximizing and prioritizing the throughput of forces and sustainment from the port of debarkation to the combat commander. Logistics commanders at every echelon will synchronize resources in order to optimize the flow of forces and materiel onward and into the theater. Its characteristics include unity of command and the ability to rapidly project and throughput war fighting organizations and follow on sustainment while simultaneously supporting war fighting operations. Dominant maneuver will be a reality in the 21st century as a result of our ability to leverage information technologies. This will allow greater synchronization of effort, control of our force application, and management of our reduced logistics structure. We're achieving these efficiencies by developing a seamless logistical pipeline for supplies and sustainment material. As a result, we're able to efficiently bypass many of the current echelons of support as a result of logistical information dominance. Leveraging information technologies, coupled with technological breakthroughs in the commercial sector in ultra-reliable components and predictive maintenance systems, may prove to be effective force and capability multipliers. This will allow the Army to reshape force structure. In addition, dramatic reductions in the weight of weapon systems in conjunction with more fuel-efficient engines will contribute to reducing the force projection and sustainment challenge. This will lead to even greater efficiencies in force structure, which in turn will lead to a reduced logistical footprint. We have a clearly defined set of objectives to extend the revolution in military logistics to the operational and tactical level. Single logistics operator, characterized by centralized distribution management at each level. Anticipatory and predictive logistics, a shared relevant view of fused operational and logistical data. Minimize logistical footprint, modular tailored units and reduce stockpiles at every echelon. Maximize throughput of units and sustainment, the bypass of support nodes, reductions in handling and increased velocity, and time-definite delivery, stabilized order shift time, delivery consistency, and the metric to evaluate this new distribution-based logistics system. We will reach our objective by updating doctrine, reshaping force structure, transforming training, and leveraging emerging technologies in the materiel and information arenas. Creation of the Theater Support Command, battlefield distribution, strategic packaging, velocity management, and integration of contractors on the battlefield are just a few examples of new and emerging concepts that will redefine logistics doctrine. Our force structure is undergoing a transformation with new and revolutionary designs created to precisely distribute units and sustainment anywhere on the battlefield. Distance learning capabilities must be developed in partnerships with academia. Exploiting the information highway and using new electronic media applications will bring standardized schoolhouse training to the field. The result? Execution of common tactics, techniques, and procedures across the Army in the course of conducting theater distribution missions. We recognize that our future leaders, active and reserve component, must be empowered with a higher level of doctrine-based skills, knowledge, and experience. These skills are critical successfully direct the application of our battlefield operating systems in the future. Our ability to harness the power of information will result in reduced logistics response times and transition from reactive to predictive application of resources. We have and will continue to develop and field new enablers focused on high-speed delivery and distribution of material and services. You cannot have a revolution in military affairs until you have a revolution in military logistics. Technological sophistication, speed, and complexity will characterize operations. Our challenge is to overcome traditional ways of doing business. We are adapting our logistics structure to maximize the use of emerging information technologies, increase speed and precision, while reducing the logistical footprint. Innovation, experimentation, and concept development will ensure we stay on the cutting edge of technology. We are building a system for the 21st century. Many of us serving today will not see it completed, but it will be our legacy. Our logistics force will be prepared to support and sustain combat forces anywhere around the globe. The revolution in military logistics at the operational and tactical level 
will reshape the way we project and sustain America's army in the 21st century. We will create the most responsive, efficient, and reliable distribution system in our history. Our soldiers deserve no less.